I forgot a cool little effect or detail that we can do to the iris to create a highlight of where the light's coming. I'm going to hold my space bar and just kind of drag. And we can see here it's a little brighter down here and a little darker up here, okay? So we want to kind of mimic that. So space bar to come back. I'm going to have my selection tool selected. I'm going to select out here on the iris, not on the starburst, but on the circle. You can also open up that eyes layer and look for it right there, right? Click on it that way. I'm going to Command C and Command F. I'll copy right on top. Making sure that the one on top, see how there's two copies right here? The one on top selected, you can see it with that little indicator right there. I'm going to come under the gradient, fill, make sure it's fill. I'm going to take off the second option there, and then I just want outside to outside options. I'm going to double click, make that one black. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to fill it with black for now. I'm going to fill that with black, solid black. I'm going to take the scale tool, S for scale, and you can see it's highlighted over here. I'm going to double click. At 75%, I'm going to make a copy. That inner circle is going to be white. With my selection tool, the direct selection tool, the white arrow, I'm going to double click on that point and drag it down like this, make kind of like a smiley face. I'm going to make it more straight. I undid. I'm going to double click, hold shift. That way it's a little more how I want. Exactly right on top of that other dot. Holding shift, I'm going to select the black section right there. So they're both selected. The white smiley face, the black outside. We come up to object, blend, blend options. And we're going to change this one from specified steps to smooth color. And it's going to smoothly go from white to black. Click OK. That changed our settings. Remember, we still have to go back in Object, Blend, and actually make it. And it creates that little gradient. But it's covering up. Oops, I'm going to click out here. It's covering up our blue and green, right? Our real color of our eye. So transparency. And then under blending modes, I'm going to select multiply. Notice what happens with multiply when I select that. Oops, there we go. Select the right thing might help. I'm going to come under and multiply. What you can see here is with multiply the white disappears, creates kind of a highlight and the black stays, right? We'll learn more about that in Photoshop but essentially that's what it does. makes the light colors um, white disappear and then it's fading as it changes from gray to black. It's a little strong black right there so I'm just going to take the opacity down. I don't know. Again, it's kind of seasoned to taste to what you like. 60%. Maybe I'll go up a little bit. Maybe 75 And then with it selected you can pick which way you want your kind of highlight to go. And I think mine's going to go kind of that way a little bit. Okay, I'm going to save, right? Always good to have it to save every once in a while. And then we're going to come back in the next tutorial and do the stuff that is not part of the iris.